Hi, I think we're recording. Hi, it's Libby. It's day eight um, on my zero free plastic uh, free 30 day challenge. Um, I've gone just over a week now. I started this last Monday, so um, eight days. So today I, again, haven't had any plastic. Um, I've used all my veggies from the market. I've been to supermarkets and really, really haven't been in a supermarket since last Thursday because basically I can't buy anything that's um, without plastic. It's really difficult. I really understand and I can understand. I've had a lot of people contact me through the Facebook and also through YouTube saying, I tried it for a day and I went about a day and that was it. And I failed within two hours and, you know, just, just change one thing, just change your water bottle just change the milk buying from the milkman you know that's what i'm doing and i've realized i'm saving over 60 cartons of plastic bottles going into my recycling bin okay people say oh well it gets recycled i don't know if it does you know i really don't know i haven't i, I don't know i've got no control once it goes in through that uh, into that bin then i don't know where it goes so already i've saved over 60 bottles a year that I would have put into the recycling bin. So quite pleased about that. I wish I'd done it years ago. The milk tastes better. Yes, it's more expensive, but hey, I only use a couple of pints a week. I make my kefir. Most of the time I make plant-based milk. I use make almond milk, and I just use the kefir, uh, the milk to make kefir because you can't make kefir with the almond milk. I've tried it, it doesn't work. And I'm trying to avoid using soya because it's in those Tetra packets and they're full of aluminium. Really bad, can cause things like Alzheimer's. Anyway, I don't want to bang on about um, all that because um, not what I'm here for. I'm here today to raise your consciousness about your washing up. Um, I don't have a dishwasher. Um, I have to, I say, unfortunately, I don't have a dishwasher. I don't know if that's fortunate or unfortunate. I kind of like washing up. I, I kind of like it. it's a bit of a mindful thing with me. I enjoy the bubbles and all of that. It takes me back to being a kid playing in with the bubbles anyway i um i ditched my um one of these about a year ago yeah i bought myself a an alternative these things i've, I've kept this one it's disgusting um, i use it to clean things like my bike and outside furniture and stuff like i've got a bit of scrubbiness in it um I, I don't tend to i don't use these anymore you buy these in packs of 12 or 6 or 4 or whatever and they're all full of plastic they're made of plastic they're not going to go anywhere else except into landfill or they'll get burnt you know you maybe only use one of these every two weeks or every week that's four a month that's probably 60 a year this is what i'm trying to tell you you only use one of these every week but how many do you use a year how many do you use over five years that all goes into landfill i'm sorry but it's disgusting and these things are full of germs you know you wash it up, use it, gets on the side, flies go on it. You know, it's not very clean. Okay, so I would get rid of that just for cleanliness. <laughs> so what I buy is um, these little brushes. Yeah, you can get these brushes singly like that or they get attached to a little pronged wooden pole. Okay, so I bought one of these from TK Maxx. I've got two or three of these. Um, and what I do every couple of weeks i will give it a wash and i will stick it in a, a pan of hot water this goes back to my mum actually my mum used to do all a wash all of her dishcloths and things in a big old pot i think it goes back to when they had these coppers back in the 1930s they didn't have proper washing machines they used to boil everything so she used to boil a dishcloth so i thought you know what that's made of natural it's natural bristle if i just chuck that in the um hot water give it a boil for 20 minutes and then leave it outside to dry it's going to be all clean and, and fresh and that helps me to reuse that a few times there are a couple of quid for one of these um, already sort of made you know they, they they they're probably about three quid with the prong on but you can buy these separately in fact my milkman they actually sell these so i bought a couple of head replacements i've also got one with a little handle on so you can use it to wash your dish um, not your dishes your veggies and stuff and then I've got the same thing, like a little bottle brush that I bought, and it cleans uh, milk bottles and uh, small bottles that I use, reuse again, glass jars. If you're going to use jars um, and you want to sterilise them, 
then put them in the oven, give them a good wash in hot soapy water, then you can put them in the dishwasher, the sterilise in the dishwasher, if you haven't got a dishwasher, put them in the oven at, uh, I think it's 120 degrees for about 20 minutes, and that will sterilise things. So anything that needs sterilising, bottles, things like that, after a while, they can get germs on them. So give them a good washing out with the bottle brush, stick them in the oven, and they will, they will sterilise. So that's me really today. I just wanted to share this with you. It's going to be a very quick video. And um, yeah, I hope you're having a good day. It's Sunday here. I've just got some on my pan there. I've got some chickpeas cooking. I make a big batch, make a couple of cups of um, chickpeas. I soak them overnight and then I boil them. And then what I'll use them, I'll put them in the freezer or I'll bring them in the fridge and I'll use them to make curry. I'm going to make some uh, hummus maybe later on. Um, some falafels, all for lunch and things, and probably a few left over, some salad. So I'm going to sign off now because I'm about to have my, my own lunch. Um, it's been a bit of a busy day already. I've been doing a class this morning and um, we did a Kundalini class on raising our consciousness on abundance and manifestation. So um, it was a lovely, lovely class. Everybody, and it were two ladies I haven't seen for absolute years turned up, so that was a real blessing. So anyway, I hope you're having a great Sunday. It's really nice here in the UK today. We've got a bit of sunshine. I uh, don't know how long it will last because the forecast is a little bit colder. So making the most of some sunshine now and I will see you soon. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow for day nine. Thank you. Bye.